And how's Kate? I know you've just come. She's great. Out. She's gorgeous. She's a beauty. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. No, Kate may not specifically have chosen to be a role model, but the fact is that when she chooses to be the face of H&M or Burberry, those are labels which are appealing to a really young-ish group, under 35s, and by the very taking of the money Kate is a role model for those labels, and especially HRM, which we all know is a really, really young label. And do we actually want everyone under 30 to think, oh yeah, smoking coke, having a chaser of, you know, Johnny Walker whiskey or beer or vodka, 55 cigarettes, is this, the lifestyle that we really want to show people is cool. It's not cool. All her friends, all her associates, all her business people have been telling her for a long time. Uh-uh, stop. She's beautiful. She's 31. She's earning tons of money. For God's sake, Kate, wake up. Otherwise, you're going to be Nancy Spongen. I think Kate is an unfortunate person who perhaps has one of those obsessive, depressive personalities which latches on to something as a kind of, you know, life jacket. Maybe she's still obsessing over the loss of Johnny Depp. And I think he was the great love of her life and it's very sad the relationship ended. And probably the fact, you know, he's constantly pictured in the celebrity glossies and newspapers with Vanessa Paradis and the, two, the children are, oh, you know, the model, that must be a constant torture. And I would actually suggest that this is the time she should actually just slow down, stop working and just get clean. Wake up and actually just realize how nice life can be if you have to wake up in the morning and you don't have a hangover.